What if driving south from Detroit takes you across an international border and into Canada? And what if the most populous county in the nation, Los Angeles County, holds more residents than 41 other U.S. states combined? The actual geography of America is stranger, larger, and more volatile than you imagine. For the next few minutes, we're going to challenge everything you thought you knew, uncovering the hidden truths buried beneath the surface of the map. Today, we're diving into the paradoxes of the American landscape, from cities that defy expected latitude to the shocking amount of land dedicated solely to livestock. We'll expose the misconceptions about proximity, scale, and the fundamental forces of nature shaping the country, beginning with the illusion of North and South. Detroit's Southern Turn When you think of crossing the U.S., Canada border, you usually visualize driving north, but if you start driving due south from Detroit, Michigan, you will end up in Windsor, Ontario. The Canadian city of Windsor sits on a peninsula that dips significantly southward, directly below Detroit, meaning the tunnel separating the two major cities is just under a mile long. The west coast of the east, picture Atlanta, Georgia, and Detroit, Michigan. Which one sits further west? Counterintuitively, Atlanta, a major metropolitan area of Georgia, is actually positioned to the west of Detroit. This geographical surprise stems from how steeply the eastern seaboard curves inward as it tracks south, South America's hidden eastward shift. Most people visualize the Americas as stacking neatly above and below the equator, but the mainland of South America juts so far east that the entire continent is west of Tampa, Florida. In fact, the only South American landmass west of Tampa is the Galapagos Islands. This massive eastward bias means Sao Paulo, Brazil, operates two full hours ahead of New York City. Texas is too big. We know Texas is big, but few appreciate its scale relative to other states and even countries. The distance from El Paso to Houston is nearly the same as the distance from El Paso to Los Angeles. Texas spans approximately 770 miles, 1,239 kilometers wide, a measurement so large it equates to almost one-tenth of the entire diameter of the Earth. L.A. County, the 42nd state. Counties are administrative divisions, not states. Yet, with approximately 9.7 million residents, Los Angeles County is more populous than 41 U.S. states. This places its population roughly between Michigan and New Jersey. Conversely, a state 24 times larger, like Wyoming, holds only about 580,000 residents. The Empire of Beef What is the dominant use of land across the contiguous United States? Is it cities, forests, or protected parks? It's livestock. Over one-third, 35%, of all land in the contiguous U.S. 654 million acres is used as pasture for cattle, if you add in the cropland dedicated to growing feed for those cattle, the total land use dedicated to beef rises to 41% of the entire contiguous U.S. The bridge to nowhere, modern infrastructure can conquer distance, but it can't always conquer psychology. The Lake Puncher Train Causeway in Louisiana, running almost 24 miles, 38 kilometers, over water, is the longest continuous bridge over water in the world. Drivers lose sight of land entirely for an 8-mile stretch, a sensory deprivation so jarring that police must sometimes provide escorts for panicked drivers who freeze up mid-journey. Crater Lake's Violent Birth Crater Lake, in Oregon, is known for its startling clarity and depth. It is the deepest lake in the U.S., plunging over 1,900 feet deep. But that depth is the legacy of violence. It was formed when Mount Mazama, part of the Cascade Range, erupted violently in 5,700 B.C., losing over 2,500 feet of height as it collapsed inward to form a massive caldera that eventually filled with water. The Yellowstone Supervolcano Yellowstone is famous for its geysers and hot springs, signs of immense heat underground. That park is actually an active supervolcano. The super designation isn't about physical size, but the volume of material it ejects. The first major eruption covered an area half the size of Hawaii in ash. While it's currently dormant, scientists estimate they would have several months of warning if a major eruption were imminent. Kilauea, the world champion. The U.S. has its share of volcanic activity, but does it host the most vigorous volcano on Earth? Yes, Mount Kilauea, on the big island of Hawaii, holds the unwanted title of the most active volcano in the world. It has been erupting without stopping for the last 200 years, a constant reminder of the geological youth of the islands. The westward slide. We perceive our geography as fixed and permanent, 
but the San Andreas Fault is constantly consuming California land as the Pacific Plate grinds westward against the North American Plate. These plates swallow approximately 2 inches 5 centimeters of land every single year. At this pace, San Francisco and Los Angeles will be neighbors in about 15 million years. Snow in paradise, Hawaii is synonymous with tropical heat and beaches. Yet, Hawaii receives a fair amount of snow every winter. The islands contain incredibly tall shield volcanoes. Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa reach over 10,000 feet into the atmosphere, high enough that their tops are covered in snow during the colder months. Mauna Kea is even named White Mountain because of this phenomenon, the naturally drawn state. Most U.S. states, particularly in the West, are defined by artificial straight lines mandated by treaties and agreements. Hawaii is the only U.S. state whose borders are defined exclusively by natural features. As an archipelago, it's logically impossible to draw straight lines when the surrounding ocean determines the state's boundaries, a trait more common in older European nations than in the artificially gridded Western U.S. A plot of England. The Revolutionary War ended British ownership of U.S. soil. Or did it? A small plot of land in Ocracoke, North Carolina, is indefinitely leased to England. This land serves as a cemetery for four British sailors who died aboard the HMS Bedfordshire in World War II. The lease arrangement ensures that the men are technically buried in their home country, preserving a forgotten political echo of the UK on American soil. Crocs and gators coexist. We often take the US's environmental diversity for granted. The country includes almost every major biome on Earth, from tundra to rainforest. But in the Florida Everglades, the US hosts a truly unique geological rarity, the only place on the planet where American alligators and American crocodiles naturally coexist. You need to know the difference. Alligators have a U-shaped snout, while the lighter gray or brown crocodiles sport a V-shaped snout. Either way, Florida's unique hydrology creates the only habitat on Earth where these two formidable apex predators share the same swampland. That is the ultimate lie revealed. Sometimes, the rarest geographical features aren't the biggest mountains or the deepest canyons, but the delicate, unique intersection of biology and climate. From the massive, unsettling depth of a volcanic lake in Oregon to a tiny plot of English land in North Carolina, the geography of the U.S. is less stable and far more surprising than any static map suggests. The invisible lines of history, geology, and global orientation constantly redefine what we call home. Which geographical lie surprised you the most? Tell us your thoughts below. And subscribe for more real geography stories that maps never show you. Let's map the untold.